Hi, this is PC Roger, and welcome to this short video where I want to show you how to install the FortiClient VPN service on a PC. And this is primarily for my clients that I work with, but anyone else has interest, certainly welcome to watch. The thing about installing the FortiClient, the software gives you a lot of options that we're not going to select and actually could cause a problem if you do select them. So here we have a file that is the uh, version 3 of FortiClient, and it's build number 617. And we're going to go ahead and double click that. You may have received this on a CD or a USB stick of some kind. Okay, here we get to this screen where it's giving us the option of a complete install, which we do not want. Or here you have IPsec VPN and firewall. And we do not necessarily want the firewall because I don't know what other software we might have running on this particular machine. We have Trend Micro, so we don't want that. So we want the IPsec VPN, but not the firewall. We will choose the custom setup here. And here, this is kind of a standard uh, in install uh, dialog. What we're going to do is uh, deselect the items we do not want. And some of these features do require a uh, purchased license, but the IPsec VPN does not. We're installing just the IPsec VPN. And there we have the install shield wizard is completed. I'd like to make a couple of notes here. One is that I did back up this computer before I started the install, just in case something could possibly go wrong. And I did create a restore point. The uh, installation did take several minutes as uh, the screen there indicated but with the magic of video editing. I have uh, trimmed some of that out to remove the boredom. But here we can click finish. And in the past, it always used to say that uh, the machine needed to be restarted. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore, but in case a future build changes that, you may have to restart your computer. Now here on the uh, setup, we will uh, just click Next. And here it's asking for your license key, but again, the VPN uh, IPsec client is free, so we can just click Skip. And we do not need to do any updates. Just uncheck that and uncheck to look for updates now. Click Next. It'll save our settings. And we're finished. Now here on the primary screen for the FortiClient console, you can see that you have the version number and the build, uh, which you might be asked for at some point in time. And it is the free copy with no expiry date. Now the uh, checkbox here, show FortiClient console when I log into Windows, you probably want to uncheck that. And if you then click on the VPN tab over here, you'll see there are no connections. And I would uh, uncheck the keep IPsec service running forever until manually stopped and then select apply. And now if you're one of my clients, you've probably been given a uh, USB device or CD or something that contains a, uh, a policy for you to connect. And the way you import that is you click on advanced, select import. And in this case, uh, you can see we drop down to this USB device and it has a VPL extension, VPN policy file. Select that, open, and it imports it and you see that the current status is down. Then when you want to connect with the VPN, you merely highlight it by clicking on it. Click Connect. And I'll not do that because I have a, a bogus IP address here right now. I didn't want to show any real IP addresses or anything. You have a pop-up screen that will tell you if it succeeded or if it failed. And then when you are connected, this uh, Connect will change to Disconnect and the status will be up with a timer countdown. And in order to, to disconnect it, you merely make sure it's highlighted again by clicking on the, uh, on the name there. And uh, you will click this button, which will then say disconnect. And that's all there is to it. If you do need to export this policy to a phone, you can see where it's grayed out here now, but there is an option to sync to mobile device if I had a mobile device connected. And that is how you get this VPN policy on the phone for the Forta client uh, for Windows Mobile to connect you to a network. While you're using Forta Client Console, you can just uh, click the Minimize there. And then you have the option of either uh, right-clicking the uh, uh, 
little icon down here and here's your you can connect and disconnect here as well or you can shut down for the client so it's no longer running and it'll go away and you can see it's gone here from the taskbar as well it should leave an icon on your desktop if that icon goes away there is one in the uh, start menu here that you can also uh, start the program from and at that point you no longer need the setup file if that's on your PC you can delete it uh, if it's on a USB stick or something then you can just leave it that's it for this short video I hope it's given you the information you need to get set up with the Forta client IPsec VPN and get connected to your office and do the work you need to do thanks for watching